So now we learned about outputting these variables with interpolation in our templates. And in the last exercise, we actually added this month name, which I capitalized here. There is absolutely nothing wrong with doing that here in the view. But for such formatting logic, where it's really just about changing how it looks, so just about the, the way it's displayed, we could argue that we want to do as much of that logic as possible inside of the template instead of inside of the view. So that we don't want to call capitalize here, but we'd like to do that in the template. Now, one thing which we can't do is we can't call capitalize here. You can't execute Python code like this here. You can point at these variables, so at these keys which you get through the context, these keys here, but you can't run any extra Python logic here then. There will be some logic which we can add, which we'll see soon, but you're always limited to the features offered by that DTL, that Django templating language. But this template language has a lot of built-in features. For example, it has features called tags and filters. And if you search for Django template filters, you're directly taken to the official Django documentation for those tags and filters. Now we're going to have a look at tags in just a second. For the moment, I want to focus on filters. And there, if I scroll on the right side, we can go to the built-in filter reference. Filters are basically adjustments or little transformations we can apply to values which we're outputting with interpolation. For example, there is an add filter, which we can run on some value which we're outputting with these double curly braces. And this allows us to add a value. Now, there also is a title filter, which you apply like this. You always apply filters by adding a pipe symbol after the value you're outputting. So after that variable name, that key name you're outputting you add a pipe symbol and then the filter name. And you're limited to the supported filters like those built-in filters here. You can also build your own filters, but that's uh, beyond the scope for now. And there are a lot of built-in filters, which you of course can also browse and play around with. Now the title filter does exactly what we're looking for here though. We can apply it here. And what the title filter does is it will capitalize this word and turn the first character to an uppercase character. So by adding a pipe here and then title, we're applying that title filter. So now if we save that and reload, we see June is again capitalized here. Not in my browser tab title though, because there I'm not applying that filter yet, but of course we can apply it there as well. So if I add the title filter there as well, and I reload, you will see that now June is uppercase there again as well. So that is just an alternative to using capitalize in the view. If you want to use it or not, also comes down to your personal preference, but it is definitely not a bad practice to use these filters and to do these visual transformations in the template instead of the view. On the other hand, it's also not horrible if you do it in the view, but generally you want to limit the work you do in the view and really restrict it to your core business logic, which might be needed for fetching and transforming the data. And when it comes to formatting and outputting the data, you might want to do as much of that logic in the template. And filters are a great tool for that.